The brain is a complex circuit made out of hundreds of billions of cells called neurons, each of which communicates with thousands of others. Each neuron receives information from upstream neurons, computes an electrical signal within it in milliseconds, then triggers the transmission of information to downstream neurons. These neurons are heterogeneous. They express many different sets of genes and have many different shapes, and they change in different ways in different brain disorders. In order to understand how neurons compute, ideally one would be able to observe individual neurons processing electrical signals in the living mammalian brain. And ideally, one could derive a complete list of the different types of neurons that make up the brain. By seeing how each type of neuron changes in a given brain disorder, one could identify molecules that distinguish unhealthy cells from healthy ones, which could then serve as better targets for novel drugs that have fewer side effects. A team of mechanical engineers, neuroengineers, and neuroscientists has now developed a robot that can analyze the electrical and molecular properties of single cells in the living mammalian brain. The robot consists of a glass microneedle, known as a pipette, with a tip just a micron wide and filled with electrically conductive fluid. The pipette tip can be moved around by a precision motor. The robot docks the pipette to a single cell in the living brain so that the pipette can capture electrical signals and molecules from the cell. The electrical signals are transmitted up the pipette, amplified, and sent to a computer. The molecules can be harvested by extracting the contents of the pipette. The procedure of using pipettes to record neural activity, known as patch clamping, has been performed by humans for decades. But in the living brain, it is difficult to do, something of an art form that only a small number of people have mastered. This robot is controlled, in contrast, by an algorithm, a piece of software that enables neurons to be detected, electrically recorded, and molecularly harvested in a high-throughput fashion without requiring human intervention. The robot lowers the pipette into the brain, looking for a cell to record from. Pressure is applied to the inside of the pipette so that it constantly ejects a small amount of liquid to keep the tip clean. It detects cells by delivering small pulses of electricity while the pipette is lowered in small steps, each about a thousandth of a millimeter long. When no neuron is present, the pulses of electricity diffuse away into the brain. When the pipette is close to a neuron, however, the neuron blockades the flow of electricity. The software running the robot monitors these electrical signals over time. This software, in essence, equips the robot with a bit of intelligence, enabling it effectively to see a cell when it is nearby. When it detects the blockade of the flow of electricity, indicating a neuron to be present, the robot halts the motion of the pipette. Then the robot applies a bit of suction to the cell, bringing the cell's membrane, or boundary, in close contact with the pipette tip. This is crucial because it is important to ensure that the pipette and the cell are touching closely. Finally, a brief pulse of suction results in the rupturing of the cell membrane, enabling the inside of the cell to be connected to the inside of the pipette. Now, electrical activity within the cell can be recorded with extraordinary precision. Also, if a dye is contained in the pipette, it can diffuse into the cell, enabling the shape of the cell, an important determinant of how a cell computes, to be seen. And because the pipette has access to the inside of the cell, it can harvest the contents of the cell body, which can be pulled into the pipette with a bit of suction. In this way, the robot can perform many kinds of observation, electrical, molecular, and morphological on single cells embedded within the intact brain. Robotics has had a huge impact on biology, from the sequencing of the human genome to enabling the new field of synthetic biology. Here we demonstrate a robot that confronts this final frontier, the living, computing brain. This new arena of in vivo robotics will open up possibilities across the landscape of biology and bioengineering, and will lower barriers to entry for new innovators to confront the mysteries of the brain.